All right, Marty, thanks. A lot of people have been talking about uh, northern uh, Ontario County and the damage there. A lot of cleanup's going to happen there today yep. after uh, the storms overnight. Yeah, Doug Emblidge is in Farmington with a closer look at the damage. The National Weather Service investigators are on their way. They've left Buffalo, and one of the places they will stop in our area today is the South Farmington Cemetery, uh, cemetery where we have been all morning long. And let's take a little tour of the damage. We did this a few hours ago when the sun was barely up. We're going to do it again now. That is a silo, a grain silo, that uh, the power of the storm turned into a, a kite last night because it's about 300 yards now from the farm where it used to be. And you can just see, you see there's a, a ladder, uh, presumably from that silo down on the ground there, and then trees down everywhere in this cemetery. And what we've been pointing out this morning is one of the most remarkable things is how limited, how confined this damage was. Now, there's other damage in other places along the, the lines of the storm, but in this immediate area, almost all of the damage is confined to that farm where the silo came from and the cemetery. How much wind power does it take to topple one of these headstones? This is not isolated. These headstones are everywhere. There's another one right over here. There's another piece of the silo right there. And then look at this headstone. Uh, this one toppled in the storm last night. And there are dozens of examples of this. The caretakers of the cemetery have been out here this morning, and uh, they're looking over the damage. There are limited funds in a cemetery like this. It's uh, a situation where most of the plots have been sold. They make their money from selling plots and, and doing burials. And then there's the upkeep cost so something like this comes along very hard to budget for insurance may cover some of it for sure but just the removal of the trees and the resetting of these headstones is going to be an expensive proposition this is also one of the more impressive things we saw out here this morning impressive in terms of it just makes you think nature did that um, take a look at this tree how old was this tree I don't know a hundred years old perhaps it was uprooted and now there is uh, the tree that was going to is going to have to be uh, cut up and uh, a big hole in the ground there's another example on the other side of the cemetery of a there's just a hole in the ground no tree next to it and we finally found the tree about I don't know maybe 25 30 feet away from where it had been and you could see areas in the ground where the tree had apparently been touched down and then picked up again and touched down and this was a big tree not a not a small not a small tree by any stretch of the imagination and here's some of the more uh, more of the damage done uh, to the uh, the headstones in this in this South Farmington cemetery um, so where does the work begin well it's it's going to be uh, you know one one step at a time I think and, and they'll have the heavy equipment they'll have to bring in here to to reset most of these uh, because there's an awful lot of, of, of weight there another thing that's happened as the Sun came up this morning is a lot of folks have come down you can see the folks lying up outside the the fence of the cemetery and uh, some of them may have loved ones in here we did talk to a man earlier who was here to check on the grave of his grandparents and then they've got some folks out here kind of looking over the damage the man in the black shirt there is the the caretaker uh mark schrader and he he's the, you know the one who a lot of the burden will fall on here so it's it's one of those storms the the bottom line in all this is no one was hurt you know everybody was okay but the damage Hmm. Uh, as you were saying, uh, ran out of battery there, but uh, y there is a lot of damage, though. And uh, we're seeing on Facebook more people waking up saying, you know, that's the cer cemetery I drive by every day. You know, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, I can't believe it. Yeah. So, hmm. uh, and again, as we've said, the National Weather Service, we've confirmed, will be out there visiting today. There you go. Hey, a lot of people, their go-to meal for a lot of